Hi, I'm Amanda Russell and this is U Train. All right, so we are going to start our warm up with the plie squat. So watch Cassie here as she has her feet nice and wide apart, toes pointed out, and you just sit back like you're going to be sitting in a chair. Almost like a ballerina. Think about those ballet classes or watching dancers do their squats. You're really going to get really deep into the bum, hip, thighs, glutes. It should start kind of easy and then it really starts to burn. The lower you go, the more you're getting out of it. But remember, this is the warm up. So you want to take a little bit of a rest at the top. It's not about how many you can do, it's just about getting in good quality plie squats. That's it, stay with it. Starting to feel the burn. Remember the goal of the warm up is to actually warm up the body. So you should start feeling that heat run through your system, getting the blood flowing. Exercise two, wide grip row. Aligning your chest with the bar. All the way down, straighten those arms, and then all the way up. You wanna make sure your wrists aren't doing all the work. I know that I struggle with that. So you wanna make sure that you're really pulling with your arms, keeping those glutes squeezed nice and tight. Everything you should be nice and tight, 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 all the way down, all the way up. Again, you can take a nice little break at the bottom or at the top. Not as fast as you can go, it's about the quality of the rep. Hopefully you're starting to really get warm with this. Back up again and lower yourself back down. Remember, this is just a warm up, so you're not trying to get in as many as you can. You're just trying to get the positioning down correctly and get your body warmed up. Next exercise, the kipping sit up. As you can see, this is the traditional sit up with a bit of a twist. So you're going to lay down flat on the floor, back on the floor, your feet, both feet flat on the ground, and lay way back, hands behind your head, bring your hips off the floor as high as you can, and then as you put your hips down, back down to the floor, use the momentum to take your whole body, your shoulders up off the floor into a sit-up position. Back down onto the floor, hips up, and then sit right up. This is a great one. It's a little bit of a cardio movement too here because you're really using that momentum from your hip up position to be able to get your body up off the ground. Go to a nice warm up pace here. Starting to feel the blood flowing. Stay with it. Next exercise is the piston. If you're a yoga person and you've heard of the downward dog and the cobra position, this sort of rotates between the two. You're going from downward dog into the cobra position. Downward dog, arms on the ground flat, hips up, and then you take your hips down to the ground, arch your spine, head up to the sky, look up, and back into downward dog. And arching, and back. This is a nice one. This is actually a great thing to do in the morning to get your blood flowing, to get you energized. Look up, and then back down. That's it, stay with Cassie. So you can really feel the heat in your back, in your core, your abs, your glutes, your arms, holding your body up, getting you totally warmed up. This is a real total body warm up stretch. It feels really good on the body. Last exercise of the warm up, the wide push up. As you can see, I am on my knees for these push ups, or you're doing a full minute of them. But if you're more advanced and you want to take it to the next level, you can get on your toes. Go all the way down to the ground, chest to the ground, and then push yourself back up. Down to the ground, and all the way up. You don't have to take this very fast here, this is just the warm up. Just keep a nice, consistent pace. Really focus on keeping that core tight, don't let the belly droop down. Nice straight, like you're a plank. Nice flat forward position. All the way down, all the way up. Remember, this is the last exercise in the warm up. You should be really warm by the end of this. A couple more. 
We're there in three, two, one, and let's begin that workout. So now that the warm-up's over, let's start the intermediate upper body workout. Let's begin with the knee to elbow push-up. You're gonna start with 15 seconds of rest before you get into the 45 seconds of work. So get into position, arms out, push-up position on your toes, and as you go down to the floor, you wanna take your knee to your elbow. So right knee, right elbow, left knee, left elbow. This is a really difficult, challenging move. But remember, it's only 45 seconds. You can do anything for 45 seconds. Keep your eye on our man, Nikki here. He's got this, keeping his core nice and tight. Don't let your belly droop, your hips droop. You're really trying to stay true to form. It's better to do less and do them correctly than to do many and incorrectly. Since this is the intermediate workout, you wanna keep a nice, steady, strong pace. Now we're moving along. Now Steve is gonna show us the partial pull-up, but first you get 15 seconds of rest from those push-ups. So let's get into position here. Grab your hands onto that pull-up bar in chin-up position and do as many as you can little partial pull-ups. When you get tired, jump back down, take a break when you need, shake it out, whatever you need to do. The idea here is to keep coming back to it. Don't get frustrated. Make sure you're working your mind over your body here. So it's not necessarily about how many you can do. Pull-ups are really challenging. It's more about doing them with the correct form. You really want to focus on quality rather than quantity of reps. We're gonna finish it off. You've got four seconds left. Three, two, one, ah, and 15 seconds recovery. We're gonna mosey along into the hollow rock with our buddy, Nikki. So on the ground, lie flat back, arms and legs extended, legs off the ground, and then just like a rocking chair, your body becomes the rocking chair. You're gonna keep that core nice and tight, this is really working deep, deep into the core muscles, keeping everything nice and stable and tight. Getting those shoulders off the ground. Keep those feet elevated, keep them off the ground. Keep your whole body in one nice tight position. No Raggedy Ann dolls out there. We wanna be nice and flat and strong. You're one big muscle. That's it, back comes right off the ground. Feet stay off. Back and forth, back and forth. Remember, it's intermediate, so our pace is nice and steady. Almost there in three, two, one, and recover. Going into the Cobra push-up. So you're in a straight line, stomach facing the floor, Cobra position, and then you take your body, chest up into push-up position. So you're really getting the push-up from the Cobra. You're working those hips. You're really feeling it in the arms. This is a total upper body blaster. All your weight is on your arms. Stay on your toes. Your hips are staying off the ground. Your legs nice and straight. Into cobra position. And then you go from cobra to push up. So chest up, head back, and then chest down to the ground like you're doing a push up. That's it, stay with Steve. Try to stay on that pace. If you need a break, take it, come back to it. You're almost there. Finish strong in three, two, one, and recover. Here's our wide grip pull-up with Nikki. So take those 15 seconds to align yourself underneath the pull-up bar. So these are wide grip pull-ups. They are the same as regular pull-ups, except that you're gonna take your grip a little further than shoulder width apart. You're not so much trying to pull your head over the bar, you're trying to pull your chest up close to the bar. Keep your head back and really pull that chest to the bar. So all the way down so your elbows are nice and straight, and then try to bring that chest to the bar. Really work your whole core here. It's not just about your arms lifting your whole body up. When your core is tight, that helps your whole body to really come all the way up, all the way down. 
Again, if you need to take a break here, jump off it, shake out your arms, and then jump back into the pull-up. This is the last exercise in the series. Three, two, one, and one more round. Nikki's back, taking us to the knee to elbow push-up. You're gonna start with 15 seconds of rest before you get into the 45 seconds of work. So get into position, arms out, push-up position on your toes, and as you go down to the floor, you wanna take your knee to your elbow. So right knee, right elbow, left knee, left elbow. This is a really difficult, challenging move. Wide grip, top of a push-up position, hands further than shoulder width apart, and knee to elbow. Keep your eye on our man Nikki here. He's got this. Keep your form on the top of your mind. You wanna keep that core tight. If you need to take a break, that's okay. Just come back to it. You don't want those hips dropping. You don't want them coming too high. I know it's hard. Moving along. Partial pull-up. Back underneath the pull-up bar. Start to get ready, get into position. Really use the recovery to get back squared in again. And then jump up. Hands in chin-up position, and as many as you can get. Take a break when you need, shake it out. Whatever you need to do. The idea here is to keep coming back to it. And then you're gonna jump back up and do those partial pull-ups. So you're not coming all the way down in a full pull-up. Just a few chin-ups here, as many as you can. Drop down, come back up. Arms are really burning on these using a lot of energy to jump back and forth up between the pull-up bar and the floor. Stay with it. It's not again, it's not about how many, it's about how well you can do each rep. You guys are there in two, one. We are back to our hollow rock. 15 seconds to recover. Get into position, sit down on the floor, lay back down, arms overhead, feet up above. Make your body nice and tight, and you're just gonna rock back and forth, just like a solid wooden rocking chair. Keep that core tight, it's super important. You're also working your legs here because you're trying to keep them off the ground. Everything's nice and straight. You're not a doll here, remember, you're not wiggly or flexible, you're just trying to stay everything tight, tight, tight. Shoulders coming off the ground and back down, feet staying up off the ground as straight as you can. Nice job at home, guys. Stay with it for five more seconds. Three, two, one, and recover. Moving into a cobra push-up. Here we go, you guys, you yogis at home know about cobras. So you're gonna be in, down to the ground, into cobra position and then you go from cobra to push up. So chest up, head back, and then chest down to the ground like you're doing a push up. Keep your eyes on our buddy Steve here. Notice how his hips kind of stay off the ground. He's on his toes. You're really relying on your arms to push you from cobra position and then back down into push up. So the chest comes off the ground and then it goes right back down into push up position. Intermediate pace is pretty quick, so stay with it. If you need a break, that's okay. Take it, come back to it. But stay with our buddy Steve for our pacing. And then we go into our wide grip pull-up. This is it, guys. Last exercise in the whole series. We are almost there. Get your body, get your mind back into position. Pull-up position and Bring your arms all the way up, bring your chest to the bar. Again, you wanna really focus on your core here. I know you're tired, but push through the fatigue. Arms nice and straight, and then you bring that chest all the way up to the bar. All the way down, all the way up. I know, you're, I know your body's crying here. If you really need that break, take it. If you can hang in there for less than 20 seconds, you've got it in you. All the way down, all the way up. 
It's not so much about keeping the head over the bar, it's about bringing the chest to the bar. Head back. That's it. Three, two, one. And finish line. Nice work. That was an awesome workout, guys. If you survive this U Train workout, come back tomorrow for more or subscribe now. And don't forget to watch Fitness Guinea Pig, where we test today's hottest workout and diet trends.